Hi everyone, John here. This is a bear hug version 2 with all of the new improvements and new values I've written about on the forum. This was built for the July 2013 Mad Bean contest. I'm going to start off with the compression at zero and on the short decay at unity volume. Here's my bypass. <laughs> So almost no compression, this one's really more of a boost with benefits. Um, there's quite a bit more volume on this one than there was on the, on the um, previous version. So you can get quite a bit of boost in the lowest compression settings and um, really up to the most extreme it'll be a lot of boost. This is the compression on halfway. So just starting to feel squishy there. Compression all the way up, and now it actually sags below unity volume. So you can bump the level up to compensate for that, or you can just roll off the guitar volume to get some dynamics back. And this is about halfway. Bypass is a lot quieter, but when we're at full on the guitar volume. The difference between bypass and on is much more similar. In fact, the uh, bypass volume is it might even be a little bit louder on the harder played notes. I'm going to back the compression off a little bit and switch over to the long decay. And this is one of my favorite settings for playing lead and rhythm at the same time. It um, it helps make helps keep chords clean going into a dirt pedal and also keeps them. Uh, around the same volume as the single notes, which won't compress as much. sustainer type sound when you turn up the comp all the way. So really clamps down very, very hard on the long decay with the compression of max. So that's the Bear Hug version 2. And as always, the layout and schematics are on my website. The PCB is still available from 1776 effects, so um, that's what this one's built on. Doesn't require any circuit changes for the new for the new version, just different values. And um, very, very easy compressor to build, no no obscure parts, and uh, works pretty good for me for my purposes. Thanks for watching.